Would you like to know if you should take and pass the Google Professional Cloud Architect certification in 2025? If so, this video is for you. My name is Mike Gibbs. I'm the CEO of Go Cloud Careers, and I've helped countless cloud architects uh, get their first tech job, get promoted in tech. And today we're going to talk about the Google Professional Cloud Architect certification. And is it worth it in 2025 and beyond? Now, I'm going to tell you right now, if you wait until the end of this video, I will have a special gift that will make watching this video very worthwhile for you. So please stick around into the end. But in this video, we're going to talk about what is the Google Professional Cloud Architect Certification. We'll talk about the strengths and weaknesses of the Google Professional Cloud Architect Certification. I'll briefly compare it to, say, the AWS Solutions Architect Professional or an Azure Solutions Architect Expert exam. And then we'll talk about how you might use this certification for a competitive advantage in your Cloud Architect Enterprise Architect career. So if we begin by what is the Google Professional Cloud Architect? Well, it is the Google's peer equivalent of, say, the AWS Solutions Architect Professional or the Azure Solutions Architect Expert. So it's geared towards solutions architects. It uh, is a, a technical exam as opposed to the Cloud Architect uh, real job or the Solutions Architect real job, which has a lot of business skills in it, which are not covered in this exam. But this is a technical certification, so we'll talk about that. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, the Google Professional Cloud Architect exam and certification is very straightforward. It is assessing you and your knowledge of various solutions that you can provide on the Google Cloud. It is much more straightforward than an AWS exam. For example, an AWS Solutions Architect Professional, you're going to spend a lot of time learning AWS vocabulary and AWS naming conventions and AWS marketing speak. And there's a lot on how to configure that too. Like a, like a cloud admin, John, uh, sort of certification is what the Solutions Architect Professional is. By comparison, Google's exam is more architecture oriented and it is more straightforward. Uh, there is a little bit about the name of some of Google's things like uh, Cloud Big Table, for example, that's just a NoSQL database and a few other marketing terms. But for the most part, the Google exam is uh, more about Google offerings and how the Google technologies and cloud technologies can be used to assist the business in their technical goals. So it is much more architecture related than you would get out of, say, the AWS Solutions Architect Professional. That's pure cloud administration. The Azure Solutions Architect Expert exam is kind of a cross between Google, which is more architecture focused, and AWS, which is more admin related focus. So... There's a lot of good in this Google Professional Cloud Architect exam. Now, one of the things that you can definitely appreciate and I can definitely appreciate is this is more scenario based. So it's more architecture related. They give you several companies like Monterey Games. And there you're focusing on designing, say, scalable and reliable gaming infrastructure on Google Cloud. Or it'll be related to Team Earth, which is creating IoT solutions, for example, for heavy machinery, collecting data. Or there'll be something related to EHAR Healthcare, which is more related to electronic health records and moving them on the cloud and securing them. And there's kind of this helicopter racing lead, which is how you would manage high performance data and live streaming on cloud computing. So it gives you some good things to work with that are more architecture related than say a cloud admin certification like the AWS Solutions Architect Professional, which is the name of a service and how to configure it, especially since architects don't configure. Now, many of the services Google talks about are open source. There are some proprietary things like Cloud Bigtable or BigQuery, but a lot of them are more open source. So if you've been an architect, for someone like me, it was a couple of days preparation to prepare for the Google Cloud Architect exam because all I had to do was take all the things that I knew and learn some of the basic Google things. It was very simple and straightforward. So all of that is going to be good. Again, it is a light architecture thing. It does talk about solving technology problems, more technical architecture than actual cloud architecture, but still it's a good start. So another strength of the professional cloud architect exam is not a lot of people have it. Now, if you asked me if you should take this exam two years ago, I would probably say no. 
And the reason is what we're doing when we look for these architecture exams, because they don't have a lot to do with architecture, is we're looking to build our brand and get an interview. And two to three years ago, I would say use AWS or Azure because they have the majority of the market share. But now Google's gaining market share and almost everyone is multi-cloud. 98% of enterprises are now, are now multi-cloud and they're going to Google, they're going to Oracle, and they're going to other cloud providers. So Google skills, Google knowledge, Google certifications just became worth a lot more because of it. So keep that in the back of your mind. Now, there's not a lot of demand for this compared to the Google Professional Cloud Architect compared to an AWS Solutions Architect Professional or an Azure Solutions Architect Expert, but the demand is growing and it's always good to be an early mover. Like I said, please wait till the end. I got a surprise for you that I think is going to be very worth for you all waiting. And more and more workloads are going to Google Cloud. So let's keep that in the back of your mind. So we get a little less brand recognition out of the Google Professional Cloud Architect certification than we would with, say, the AWS or the Azure one, which is not as good. But uh, there's more workloads going every day to the Google Cloud, so it's good to come early as well. Now, I want to make it clear that none of these, the AWS Solutions Architect Professional, the Azure Solutions Architect Expert, or Google Professional Cloud Architect, are going to be enough for the job. But you know, there is still some, I'd say you get about 10% of the skills you need out of the Google Professional Cloud Architect exam. Now, what will these certifications do? They will help you get an interview and that's awesome. So here's my certification recommendations. These are my favorite certifications. It's what I teach every cloud architect that I ever train. I always train them in one of the three uh, certifications, the AWS Solutions Architect Professional, the Azure Solutions Architect Expert, and now we're adding the Google Professional Cloud Architect because it's there. So I like one cloud certification. Now for any architect that's focused on uh, digital transformation, I typically like TOGAF 10, which is an enterprise architecture framework that's really aligning about aligning people, processes, and technology to help an organization gain a competitive advantage from technology. And that's all cloud architects and enterprise architects are there for. We're there to help an organization gain a strategic advantage through technology. And I also typically recommend and teach the CISSP. Why? It's my favorite intro to security. And when you have three, three certifications on your resume, you're getting interview calls almost every day. Now it's up to you and the training you have that's going to get you hired beyond these certifications. That's why we provide certifications plus skills. But uh, keep that in the back of your mind. So these are going to help you. Now, guess what the good news is? We are going to offer a completely free live Google Professional Cloud Architect Bootcamp. You can sign up on the link in this description. It's a complete Google Professional Cloud Architect course to prepare you for the Google Professional Cloud Architect exam and the Google Professional Cloud Architect certification. It's free. I'm going to have my team drop the link to that registration in the description of this video. So no matter when you watch this video, you can go out there and register for the free training and participate. So if you've enjoyed this video about the Google Professional Cloud Architect exam, maybe give it a like, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell to be notified of new videos. I encourage you to sign up for the Google Professional Cloud Architect uh, free certification course. It'll be free and live. You'll be able to ask questions, and we'll do anything we can to help you on this live free session. We also have free webinars on how to become a cloud architect, a security architect, an AI architect, and an enterprise architect, and they are also in the description of this video, as well as so many other free resources to help you in your career. So check out the description of this video. Sign up for the free Google Professional Cloud Architect training course that we're going to be running to help you prepare for that certification and join us on a free architecture webinar. Download some free guides, get them emailed to you, and really build that cloud architect or enterprise architecture career. So I hope to see you in the live and free training. I hope to see you in a free architecture webinar, and I hope to see you soon. Take care. This is Mike Gibbs, and I look forward to seeing you soon.